Hi friends, it's Kamal and you are watching Maths by Kamal Jajoria. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, so let's start. In this video, I will explain you about factorizing. So what is factorizing basically? Factorizing is the reverse process of expanding brackets. So in my previous videos, you have learned how to expand brackets. However, in this video, I will explain you about factorizing. So factorizing, in factorizing, you usually have a set of brackets. And highest common factor, which we represent as SCF. So I explain to you both of this, how it will work in factorizing. So let's take an example, which is 6x plus 9. To factorize this expression, what we do, we look for highest common factor, which is HCF. So let's look into that one. In this factorized equation, that would be, so HCF of this would be 3. So that is 3. So to factorize we write down the HCF and then begin a set of brackets. Then you find the missing terms in the brackets by dividing each of terms given in the question by the HCF. So what that would be. So if HCF is 3, so what we would have here. Okay. So find the missing terms in the bracket by dividing each term by the HCF. So what that would be. So let's say that would be 3, 2x plus 3. Okay. Now if you reverse this one, so let's say if you reverse this, which means that if you expand that one, you should have same answer as this. So if I open this, that will be 6x plus 9. So you see, <clears throat> as I said earlier, the factorizing is the reverse process of the expanding brackets. <clears throat> okay, I hope you understand this. Now, we're going to move on to a factorizing quadratic form. And in this form, you have quadratic equation, which is x square bx plus c. And that equation we have here x squared plus 5x plus 6. So this is your quadratic equation. Okay. What you need to see here that the unknown number have a product of 6 and sum of 5. So this is where you need to you need to really understand this what I exactly mean of that. So when we talk about unknown numbers which we need to find to solve this quadratic equation, you must have a number which product of 6, which means that if you multiply that two numbers and the sum of that 5. So which means if, if you multiply, multiply, that should give you 6. And if you add <coughs> or add plus, <clears throat> add or minus, sorry, that should give you 5x. <clears throat> How would you do that? So let me just write down <clears throat> the numbers with the possible numbers which you can have is 1 multiply 6, then you got 2 multiply 3, then you got so with this one, 
you have 1 plus 6, then you got 2 plus 3. Okay, so the possibility of the product of 6 is you have 1 multiply 6, that gives you 6, and if you add this number, that gives you 7. We don't need 7 here, we need 6, therefore that doesn't apply. Yeah. Then another possibility we have it is 2 multiply 3, which gives us 6. Yeah. And also when we add this, that gives us 5. So we will go with this. Okay. Now, as you know, in factorizing, I will explain here that it's a set of brackets. So what, when we factorize that, we have a set of brackets. Yeah. So a set of brackets, what we'd say here that uh, if I write this again, we have to achieve x plus some number here and then you got here x plus some number here <coughs> okay so what you can write here this one where you we know that number is 2 and 3 we can write as x plus 2 x plus 3 okay so this is one method you can achieve there is another way of doing this the reason i'm saying the other method as well because when we do the complex factorization you need to do in that method sometimes it's not possible to go like this okay so i explained to you that method as well in that method, if I write again, you say here x square 5x plus 6. This method you need to do when you do more complex factorization. So what we achieve here by going here, that x square 2x because sum of is 5. Okay this one so sum of this five plus six okay so far so what we have done here two and three we achieve from here to get five x because the product of six and the sum of five is this number okay now we got that and what we do need to do is to further simplify this. In here, if we take this and this separately, we take x out, then what we have here is this. Okay, is that clear so far? x squared plus 2x, it also can be written as okay then we go for 3x plus 6 right so you have here plus sign then again at cf highest common factor from here what will be that's 3 the bracket x plus 2 okay now you see here in this method you always find these two exactly the same. Yeah. And then you can further simplify that by writing you have x plus 2, and then you have x plus 3. Okay. So this method. It will be very useful for 
A-level students when they do complex mathematics. Because with this first method is okay, but sometimes it can confuse you. So in my coming videos, we will factorize in this manner. Hope you understand this. And do me a favor, if you finding value in this video and like this video, be sure to click the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and drop a comments in the comment box. If something is not clear or you would like to know more about it, thank you.